What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Medicom Toys Mafex Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey. And so here we have Harley Quinn pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's run through her accessories. Harley Quinn does come with two different head sculpts. We do get the smiling head which looks really good. Then we do get a yelling head. She does come with a pair of fists a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of grip hands, and a pair of splayed open hands. She also does come with a pair of roller skates which do go on the figure really nicely. She does come with her mallet which goes in her grip hands really good. And then she also does come with Bruce the Hyena. Other than that, Harley Quinn here doesn't come with anything else so with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Harley Quinn. And so here we have a closer look at Harley Quinn. Now, as you guys know, this is the Birds of Prey version of Harley Quinn, which I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have never seen the movie Birds of Prey, nor do I want to see it. And this is not my favorite Harley Quinn costume. In fact, all her outfits in that movie were terrible. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they made that movie. But anyway, having a look at the figure itself, I really, really like this head sculpt. It is a very good likeness to Margot Robbie. Mafex is getting much better at their face sculpts and it's really showing. I really do like it. You can really see the Margot Robbie in this, so really good job. I especially like the fact that they did make her pigtails two tones as it was in the movie. I really don't know how you would actually do that in real life because if your hair was two tone like that, it would get all mixed up when you do that. But anyway, it looks really good. It has the tattoo right here and it also does have her rotten tattoo on her cheek. Then we do have her piercings right here on the side. So that's really good. Moving on to the rest of her costume, which again, it's not my favorite costume. In fact, I don't like any of her Birds of Prey costumes, but having a look at this, they did a really good job with the jewelry around her neck. They, it actually looks really good. You can see the tattoo right here on her chest where, um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we do have a tattoo right there. I do like it. I like all the jewelry that goes around her neck really nicely. And you can see the chain going back down here. We do have the property of Joker uh, tattoo right here, which unfortunately it is cut off right here at the shoulder, which I'll get to the shoulders in a little bit, don't worry. Um, she is wearing her pink top, which looks really good. The pink they went with is a very nice, vibrant pink, just like it was in the movie. One thing I do like is that they did add the suspenders right here. So those do look really good. I do like it, the fact that it is a black buckle with the red strap. Really loving the gold that they went with. If this was Hasbro, they would have just made this a swirly twirly plastic, the marbleized gold. Here we actually have gold paint and the silver paint looks very clean on it as well. You can even see the silver paint on the zipper. One thing I like about this figure is that you can actually see her shorts underneath this, well at least peeking through her the zipper. Uh, that wasn't present on the McFarlane figure, but the zipper does go all the way down. Having a look at her arms, she still has her tattoos going on her arm right here and these do, do look really nice, I like it. Moving on to her arms, this one's pretty plain, it doesn't have anything on it, but it does have rings on her hand, which those are painted very, very nicely. So overall really nice paint work on her hands and arms. Then we have a look at her uh, overalls, which this is the overalls version and really liking the sculpt work that they did here. The sculpt work is spot on and that's something I was expecting from Mafex to do. A very nice sculpt. Now they did sacrifice articulation for the sculpt, but I really don't know why they did that. Uh, we'll get into that when we have a look at articulation. But yeah, it is a very nice sculpt, really loving the how vibrant that gold is. Then we go on to her shoes where they are this really nice gold heels. That looks really good and you can even see they added the zipper right here on her boots. So that's really good. I like that. We have the diamond pad in there. So overall, despite not being my favorite Harley Quinn design, it's a very nice looking figure. Now, I do have to criticize the shoulders. Um, the shoulders do seem like they sit very low on the torso and unfortunately there's no way to alleviate that. You can try to lift her shoulders up, but that's about as high as they go. They are on ball joints so they do pivot around. You can absolutely dislocate her shoulder, 
but you can't make it a little more flush. I think that's one downside to this figure is that it has to have this gap in the shoulders that there's ways around that but Mafex just didn't do it on her unfortunately so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Harley Quinn posed and compare to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have Harley Quinn posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman here we have Harley Quinn posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Harley Quinn posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have the Mafex Birds of Prey Harley Quinn posed next to the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at Harley Quinn's articulation. Now Harley Quinn does have a double ball joint here in the neck, which she can look up to about right there. She can look down to about right there, which is really good. Then she also does tilt to the side, to the other side, goes left and right. Really good movement in the head, unfortunately. No second ball joint here at the neck. I think that would have been a good spot to have another piece of articulation. But that's just me, I would have put a ball joint right there. Now her shoulders, they are on ball joints, so they, well, they're a ball socket going into the shoulder, so they do pivot forward and back really nicely. They pivot up slightly, and they pivot down a lot. Now there's no cap here, so there is nothing to hide the joint, so you basically have her shoulder exposed at all times, and that's really unfortunate. That's like a day one Mafex issue that they had back when they were starting to make figures and this it's unacceptable by today's standards as far as her range goes it does go out to the side really nicely goes all the way around no issues then she does have a swivel up high in the shoulder unfortunately it's not a bicep swivel so you really don't get too much range out of it um, that's about how it far it goes and then it's basically at neutral so yeah not too much range there we do have a single bend here at the elbow it's supposed to be a double bend but it kind of only works yeah it's supposed to be a double joint but it only goes past slightly past 90 unfortunately she does have a swivel hinge at the wrist so that does go forward and back uh, in and out and it just depends on how you have that joint situated she has a ball joint here in the mid torso so that does move side to side and it is independent of her overall so i do like that so we do get some forward and back side to side and a little bit of rotation right there then we have a second ball joint here in the uh, waist which go gives us a lot of articulation you can see she leans side to side really nicely leans back leans forward and then uh, you do got to watch out because sometimes the gold overalls will snag with the overall so you got to be careful with that it will make putting her back to neutral kind of difficult and then that does swivel side to side legs are on drop down hinges so they do drop down only to about right there they kick forward to about right there which is okay they kick back out to the side mm, could be better and you can see the crotch piece is fighting it so it does want to go any higher she does have a thigh swivel up high she has almost like a Figma joint right here in the knee, which unfortunately is only a single bend, but it does go slightly past 90. She has a swivel here at the foot, as well as a hinge, which unfortunately, it really doesn't work too well. That's about the range of movement you get. It's not really a forward-facing pin because she's wearing heels. It's basically just a swivel. And one thing I do like is that because she is wearing heels, we don't have a toe joint so finally no toe joint on healed figures so overall articulation is pretty um, decent it's not the best that we've seen but it is acceptable so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Harley Quinn pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review And so here we have the Mafex Birds of Prey Harley Quinn pose for my final thoughts. And overall, this is a pretty decent figure. There's nothing too spectacular about this figure. Um, I don't even think she comes with enough accessories to call her a spectacular figure. She's pretty much just your average Harley Quinn figure that because of DC's gun ban, they weren't able to put any firearms with this figure. 
which I think that's a missed opportunity. I think Harley Quinn needs to have at least some kind of firearm. I do appreciate the fact that we do get her mallet. That's one of her signature items and weapons that she uses. And it's kind of strange because you can be a little more violent with a mallet than you can a gun. But anyway, as far as the figure goes, I like the overall figure. There are some issues that it has, especially in the shoulders. If Mafex has taken the time to actually design those shoulders a little bit better, I think it would work. I think the issue is her chest piece is too wide at the top and it just hangs out a little bit too far. If they had narrowed that out and just brought the shoulders in just a little bit, I think that would solve all the issues I have with it, as well as giving us a cap just so it does hide all those joints. It's really one of those older Mafex problems that they really haven't had in recent figures, but suddenly they have with this Harley Quinn, which makes me think this really wasn't too high on their priority list when designing. But like I said, it's still a pretty decent figure. If you're a fan of the DCEU Harley Quinn and you liked Birds of Prey, which I'd be surprised if you did, you would probably enjoy this figure more than I do. I do like the paintwork on it. It's really clean, really solid. And I like the fact that they did include Bruce the Hyena. Although I would have liked to see an articulated hyena to go with this, especially if we're paying $70 for this figure. At least give us an articulated hyena because a stationary hyena just doesn't do it for me. Overall, like I said guys, this isn't uh, recommended if you're not a fan of this particular version of Harley Quinn. I think if you're not a fan of her, this is an absolute pass, but if you do like the overall look, or you see some parts that you can use on a custom figure, definitely pick her up. Otherwise, yeah, it's not worth the $70 for this figure, which I did pay about $70 for her, and that's coming from Japan, where I got her on Hobby Link Japan. And she is starting to ship if you did have her pre-ordered on sites like AmiAmi and Hobby Link. You should be getting your shipping notices very soon, if not already shipped. As far as domestically goes, you're going to be paying $100 for her. Which, honestly guys, don't pay $100 for this figure. It is not worth it in the slightest. I would say at most, uh, $50. $50 is a fair price. I mean, the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn was about $70, and they tried milking that, and now it's like $30 on Amazon. So yeah. I would say wait for a sale on this figure guys, it's not a figure that's high on your priority list, don't pick it up, and that's being 100% honest. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Mayfix videos, hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.